What's up YouTube? Top Tactic Fishing here. Welcome to another episode. It's going to be a very nice episode today. Um, we're going to be doing a uh, fishing challenge. Um, it's going to be the do-it-yourself fishing challenge. And I don't think this challenge has ever been done before. Um, but what we're going to be doing is that we're going to be using a medical suture kit. This thing right here to see if we can catch a fish. Stay tuned. All right, guys, so this is the uh, medical suture kit. Um, I got this on Amazon. It's uh, by Uber Scientific. It's a nylon monofilament <laughs> uh, suture kit. So what it does is that there's, there's five pieces in here. Um, and you can see it's used for, you know, surgical sutures. Uh, I'm, a, I'm a nurse practitioner at my job. So I do a lot of um, removing stitches and stuff like that. And um, I just thought this might be an interesting challenge to use to try to catch fish with an actual suture needle and the, suit and the, and the line that comes with it. So we're going to open this up here. We're going to see what it looks like. All right, put this back in here. So that's what it looks like here. We're going to open it up. All right. Let's see what it says. So it says it's a 3 8 of a circle here. So it does have some of the uh, dimensions on here. Um, so we're going to open it up, see what it looks like. Okay. All right, so here it is here, guys. Let me just put this on the ground here. All right, so here's what the actual needle looks like. So you can see that it's round. You can see some of the line. The line is very, very thin, and it extends for a little bit here, okay? So what we'll probably have to do is so we'll probably have to bend this tip of the hook, make it more of like a J shape, and um, to make it a little easier to try to catch the fish. So the line on this really is thin. It's almost like two pound test, if I had to guess. Two pound test. So we're definitely gonna be <laughs> using bluegill for this. Let me get some pliers here. Okay, we're going to bend this hook a little bit as best we can. It's already going to be a little bit tough since it's already outstretched. We don't have to bend it too much, but enough just to kind of make it look like a hook. Okay. It's a little bit better. I'll keep my 10 pound test on here and we'll put this on a uh, snap swivel if we can. I'm going to go ahead and cut some of this suture line here since it is very, very long. I don't think we need too much of that. So I did cut some of the line off. Just to make it simple, I'm going to tie it directly to the snap swivel here. You could use barrel swivels if you want with this, but just for the ease of time here, and we'll just tie it directly onto the snap swivel. Just use a pollen or not here. Kind 
kind of like a polymer or not, but we'll just tie it directly on there. So we are here at my favorite creek for getting bait. There's a lot of bluegill, sunnies, bass in here, and I'm hoping this will be a good place to catch some fish for this with this suture needle that we're using. <clears throat> the water should be pretty good. I haven't had a lot of rain recently, so we should be able to pull in some sunnies and hopefully get a fish. All right, guys, so we're gonna look at our, our line real quick. Okay, so we have a 10 pound test down to a snap swivel down to my suture line, very thin line, I'm guessing probably two pound test or less, and then down to this hook. I'm gonna see if I can modify it a little bit more. Just because I'm not happy with the way it looks here. I'm just trying to bend this up. So now I'm going to try to curve it just a little bit. All right. Just the tip a little bit here, make it more like a J. It's a little hard. This is not the best hook. There we go. That's a little bit better than what it was. See if I can bring it more in. There we go. Let me see if this works here. As you can see, what the hook looked like before, it was just like a half a circle is what it looked like, or half an oval. So I kind of have to play around a little bit with it to kind of get this out of you the angle of the hook you want. We're using night crawlers as bait. I'm not sure, I don't think it's gonna hold up okay on this hook. You know, doing this challenge really works well from the profession I'm in. I'm a nurse practitioner, so I, every now and then I'll deal with sutures and all that stuff, so this should be fun. All right, I'm gonna hook this worm a few times. Still gonna keep the hook exposed. Let's see. Ooh, this worm got out. Now let's see if we can catch a fish with a suture needle. I'm hoping there's some bluegill here. came off. I think something may have took it. I'm not really sure. All right, let's see. I'm actually going to bring the worms down here. Uh, sorry guys if my voice is kind of uh, different on this video. I've been fighting a little bit of a cold. So, let's see. Oh, fish on. Fish on. Yeah! Woo! 
This is the first fish on the suture needle. Yes, guys, look at that. Right in the corner of the mouth there too with the hook, as you can see. Let me show you a better picture. Look at that, suture needle, chested, fine. Held up great. Nice bluegill here. I see some more bluegill. We're gonna see if we can catch some more. I did see a little bit of bass in there too, so. Oh. Oh, fish on. Yeah, here we go again, guys. Another bluegill here. Fish on. Oh, that's a decent bluegill here. This will make great bait for sure. Look at that, guys. Look at that. It's right in the corner of the mouth. Beautiful fish. That was a big one. Fish. Fish on. Fish number four. And this one definitely swap. Oh, shoot. This is kind of a sad way to end, but uh, I think we're going to have to stop here. I'm going to have to cut the line because this bluegill is bleeding out. So I'm going to quickly release this fish. Up, oh, and the line actually broke. I'm gonna kick this bluegill back in there. Get in there, buddy, and he did. I'm hoping he'll be okay, but that was the fifth fish. The hook came off the line here. So we're gonna call it a day. Well, guys, that's all we have for today's video. Um, I appreciate you watching this video. Be creative, try new things when you go out fishing. Um, I definitely enjoyed this challenge. It wasn't too, too difficult to do this, but you know, I just try to, just try to think of creative things. And, th and this challenge has never been done on YouTube. I've never seen anybody use suture line, suture needles, uh, use it as, you know, fishing tackle to catch fish. Give a thumbs up for this video. Hit the subscribe button if you haven't. And we'll see you next time on Top Tactic Fishing. Take care.